One of the reasons I see independent hip hop artists not really thriving that much in their music career and probably why you're not thriving is because you're not playing a big enough game. Um, I realized a long, long time ago that I needed to play a bigger game. And there's honestly, for independent hip hop artists, there is one single key that you need that is going to do so many few, so many different things. It's gonna separate you from other independent hip hop artists. It's gonna give you an advantage. It's going to just completely like slingshot you and catapult you into the right direction. And uh, it's gonna be something no one can ever take away from you. So, you know, stay to the end, stay deeper in the video and I'll tell you what that is. But uh, if you don't know me, my name's Leezy the Gifted, been doing music for 13 years, producing my own music for six years. Um, and I'm at a point where I'm doing music full time, making a full time income. And I want to show you some tips and tricks along the way of how to do that. So the thing is you have to always be playing a bigger game. If you're not playing a bigger game in your music career, you're just going to be losing. So there's really like two different routes that you can go on as an independent hip hop artist. There's route A and there's route B. Route A is pretty much what 99% of artists do which is, I'm gonna say a few of those things, and then there's the 1% of artists that do this one thing differently. So what do 99% of artists do? Most of them, you know, they're getting beats for free, for profit use off YouTube, they're buying beats on BeatStars, they're hand letting other people handle their mixing and mastering, or they're doing it themselves at a low quality maybe, and um, they're just worried about marketing and they're trying to get views and they're trying to get plays and they're trying to get cloud. And, you know, they're, they're, they're going down the route of thinking, all I have to do is get a bunch of plays and views and clout. And that's what's going to help me make it like those are the things. And and, um, you know, chances are this is kind of like where you probably are. And it's really not your fault. That's like pretty common. Like most people think, OK, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work with a producer. I'm going to buy beats, pay for mixing and mastering. I'm going to try to get views on YouTube or I'm going to try to get views on Instagram and I'm going to try to grow on Spotify. And eventually what's going to happen is somebody's going to notice me. Somebody's going to find me. Somebody's going to see me and uh, I'm going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. I'm going to make it big. Uh, a label's going to pick me up or what have you or you know, hey, I want to do it independently. I'm going to start building a team around this stuff and I'm going to just make it. They really don't know what they're doing. And the truth is like what ends up happening is you have this false sense of belief in yourself. And and it, it sounds rude and it sounds mean, but you know, it's good to have confidence and whatnot. But if you really don't have a plan that you can explain to people or explain to yourself and you don't really have anything really well structured, then you're really just going to do what 99% of artists do which is not make it. Um, and so here's kind of like the breakdown. I mean, like route A is like you're buying beats, right? And if you want to get a high level custom exclusive rights beat, that's going to be a high quality beat. I mean, you're going to have to spend anywhere between two, three, 400 bucks on a beat, but let's just call it 250 for right now. Right. And then if you want to get high level mixing and mastering, you're going to have to spend anywhere between one and 200 bucks on the song to get it mixed and mastered properly. If you're lucky, you can record at home like I do, save costs on that, but you're going to need someone to mix and master it. So let's say Beats 250, mixing masterings 100 or 150. So you're going to spend anywhere between three and 500 bucks on the song for good purposes. You know, let's just say we're going to spend 500 bucks per song to get it sounding really professional. If you're lucky, let's say the song's 300, right? Just for right now, I was going to go get my calculator just in case, even though I've done these calculations before, but let's say the song's just 300, okay? And it's $300 for the song, and um, you're, you know, if you wanna be any sort of relevant, you're gonna need to put out at least a song a month to be relevant and to be consistent and to grow a fan base. And so at $300 a month for a song, you know, if you want multiply that by 12 months, that's $3,600 a year that you're spending on just the songs themselves. It's not including video content. It's not included, including any music videos you might want to film, which I think music videos are becoming pretty obsolete, but that's another conversation. Um, that's not including marketing budget. So a lot of artists, what they end up doing is they'll say, Hey, I have this album coming out. 10, 12 songs, they're, they're thinking, okay, I'm going to put out a bunch of singles leading up to the album. I'm going to drop the album and it's going to blow me up. And then they have $0 for marketing budget and they think somehow they're going to do it organically. It's actually one of the most, it's what I used to do. 
and it's stupid. Like, just take it coming from me. Again, it's not your fault because I went through the same thing. It's not your fault because that's kind of the common route. It's what you think you should do. But I'm going to tell you from my own experience, I literally did that same thing. It did literally nothing for me. Like, I spent $2,000 in two years on an album, Beats, Mixing, Mastering. I spent two grand. It did nothing for my career. I put out, I did the exact route because it's like, if you don't have a marketing budget, it's not going to do anything for you. This video is not about marketing though. This video is about something different. It's about one key secret. Everyone knows that they need to market their music. Everyone knows they need to spend money on it. That's not the secret. I'm going to share it with you at the end, but let's go through the cost breakdown first. So $3,600, right? That's how much you're going to spend per year. If you want to get high quality stuff, let's say it's $500. That's 6K a year. So you're going to spend anywhere between 3,600 and 6K. Let's just say on average, you're going to spend 4K per year on just the music. That's not including the marketing budget, everything else. So that's 4K per year just to put out the songs, right? That's not guaranteeing that you make it. That's not guaranteeing you get on playlists. It's not guaranteeing you get attention. It's not guaranteeing you sell anything. What ends up happening is for a lot of artists, what they do is they keep telling themselves, I don't have a budget, I can't do this, I can't invest in myself, I'm just gonna put out the music and do it organically. That works for one, two, three years maybe, but then eventually you get burnt out. I just had a conversation with an artist who's been putting out a song a week and his career is honestly going nowhere because he's not in the right mind mindset to, to, be, to be doing things the right way. Um, but he's been doing a song a week for a long, long time and it's not getting him anywhere. It's not doing anything for him and it's probably not going to until he makes a drastic shift and a drastic change in what he does which you're going to need to do soon too and if you don't make that change you're going to quit i know artists who have quit like my client ryan he ended up quitting music um went on a five-year hiatus quit music came back and ended up joining my rapid fire music academy and now he's busting out a beat a day he's done already 14 beats in six weeks and he's already fully recorded and mixed his first self-produced song in seven weeks so he's never going to have to wonder like where he gets a, where he gets his music production. So you can go down route a, which is like paying for producers and buying beats, mixing, mastering, spending all this money, waiting on people to, you know, mix and master your songs just for it to not sound good. And just for people to hold on to your music. And you can keep feeling like you don't have control of your career and you can keep doing what you're doing, which the definition of insanity is going to keep doing the same exact thing, expecting different results. That applies for when you see other people do things. You could see other artists I just named. You know, we both are agreeing that 99% of artists do what I just talked about, right? So if you see 99% of artists do that route and you keep doing that route thinking you're going to get different results, you're just as insane as if you just went and did route A yourself. Or you can flip it and go route B, which is what something only 1% of artists do. And there's a reason only 1% of artists make it. And what is it? It's them producing their own music, just like what I've done, just like what Russ, Kanye, Tyler, the creator, and so many other artists have done. John Bellion's a great example. Ryan Leslie's a great example. There's plenty of self-producing artists. Mac Miller, rest in peace. He produced his own music. There's a reason people do it, right? It doesn't mean you have to stop working with other producers, but when you're in the beginning stages of a career, just like you and I, and we're trying to build ourselves up, when you can make your own beats, like if you take a look, like this is literally where I get my music right here. I, this is my house, right? I obviously paid up front for all of this equipment, which I don't even need all the equipment. I don't even need those speakers. Literally all I need is the computer and my headphones, my mic, and that's all I need. I don't even like, literally, like I kid you not, like I have this keyboard here, right? I have this keyboard. I honestly, it's collecting dust. I might sell it. I literally, I mean, I'm not gonna sell it because I do play piano, but I almost never use it. I almost never use it, I swear. I might sell it and get something cheaper. Like I never use it. I don't, I, I literally just use my keyboard on my computer. Um, I never use music theory, even though I know it. I know how to play piano, but I don't even use what I learned that much. I, I literally do everything on my own. I use basic music theory, which you could look up on YouTube. I'm glad I did music theory. I'm glad I did piano lessons. My teacher was amazing and he expanded my brain, but I'm telling you, you don't need it. You don't need expensive equipment. And literally I have clients who get results in 90 days. Like. Ryan went from what I told you, like he never had done any music production at all. Didn't know anything, doesn't know how to play instruments at all. To literally now, like I said, he's literally been doing a beat a day in August, but like six weeks later, he's, he's, he's banged out over 14 beats, fully arranged, mixed and mastered beats. And he's already recorded and mixed and finished mixing his first self-produced song. That's huge. Ange used to take over three months to make a song, banged out two full songs in two months, 
then ended up joining my rapid fire production sales accelerator and got seven custom production clients in a month. Carlos, two weeks into, or sorry, Carlos, I keep mixing that up. Carlos, three weeks into the program has banged out three beats and already fully recorded his first self-produced song. It's insane what can be done if you just produce your own music and it's not that hard. So if that's something you're interested in doing, then click below and book a call with me. All right, and I can, I can kind of walk you through the process. But the reason you're going to want to produce your own music is because you got to play a bigger game. You got to play a bigger game. I'm doing music full time and I make a full time income. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's not from being an artist and doing that route, selling CDs, concert tickets, merch. I don't play that game. If you want to play that game, great, because the route I'm showing you will help you play that game even better. But I chose because I said, I want to play a bigger game. I want to make music. I want to release music, right? I want to put it out and share it with people. And I want to do some concerts. But I always said to myself, I said, I, I, I want to build a career where I can make money right there. And I don't have to go on the road if I don't want to. And if I do want to go on the road, I can still do that if I want to. But I wanted this to be where I made my money. I didn't want to have to go on the road. I didn't want to have to be a slave to a record label. But you have to play a bigger game, right? If you're going to break away from what 99% of people do, then don't do what they do. Take what the 1% does. And right now, I'm showing you the route to do that. Here's the guarantee. All you, first of all, all you have to do, click below, book a call with me. The guarantee is this. In three months, you're going to get two things guaranteed. Number one, you're going to have at least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered by you that you're excited to release. And you're going to have all the skills you need to never need to buy beats, pay for mixing and mastering, or ever have to rely on a producer for the rest of your career. Now, when we looked at the cost of it, we looked at paying somewhere between $3,600 and $6,000 per year just to put out the music. And that's just one year. If you're looking at this as a long-term thing, because this, this program that I run, Rapid Fire Music Academy, it's only for people who have a long-term vision. If you're just trying to get something done these next couple of months and you're, that's all your vision can see, then you're not, you don't, don't book a call with me. This is for people who have a 10-year, five-year vision for their music. Because over a five, I literally have made $70,000, if you really want to add it up, I have made $70,000 by producing my own music. So if you really want to save yourself some money, right, you're going to book a call and you're going to invest. And do me a favor, don't book a call with me if you're not ready to invest. It's no disrespect. It's not that I don't want to still help you. But if you're not ready to invest in yourself, there's nothing I can really do to help you other than you just watch my YouTube videos. So just book a call with me down below if you're ready to invest financially and if you're ready to get started. If you're not, don't worry about it. It's all good. Just don't book a call and don't waste my time or your time. Just keep watching my YouTube videos. Keep trying to figure it out on your own for free if you think that that's going to work out for you. Um, but I appreciate you watching this video. Hope it's been helpful. And I hope it's gotten you at least, if you don't book a call with me, that's fine. I hope it's at least gotten you to think about playing a bigger game. That's what you need to do as an artist. Play a bigger game. Learn how to produce your own music. I know for a fact if you book a call with me and learn how to do it from me, it is the best way to do it. So I would suggest you do it that way, all right? So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you and uh, looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Peace.